Welcome to I'm Out Traveling. My name is Raul. And I'm Lorena. And we are here in beautiful Cabana Bay. Love this place. It's my first time here and I'm really enjoying these retro vibes. As soon as you get here, you feel like you're back in the 60s. I mean, all the cars outside are vintage and the decor in the hotel really makes you feel like you're back in that time. But before we get started on things to do, what to expect, let's go over some quick tips that you need to know before coming here to Cabana Bay. Otherwise, your trip might not go as well as you thought it would be. Tip number one, don't expect to just come to Cabana Bay and uh, book a room. It's not that easy. You have to plan this at least one to two weeks in advance. We got here right around three o'clock, prime time for checking in, and it was a 30 minute line just to check in. You know, one of the best things about Cabana Bay is that they actually let you get here early. So even though your, your room might not be ready to three or 4 p.m., they allow you to get here around 11 in the morning to actually use the amenities. But we didn't do that, we got here at three and the line was just mm. out the door. And also, there's a lot going on in the lobby. They have live music, they even had one of the characters. Was it yeah, the Minions? Minions, yeah. Okay, yeah, and all the kids were really happy and yeah. taking pictures and stuff. So they, they keep you entertained mm -hmm. here even though you're gonna be standing in line, so it'll be fine. Yeah, they even have a bar. Take advantage <laughs> yeah, of that bar. Yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> Another tip is this room key. So they actually yeah. let you preload this room key with some money. That way, whenever you're at the pool or at the bowling alley, wherever you're at, you can actually use this to buy your food, your drinks. So convenient. That way you don't have to be fumbling through your wallet and credit cards. You just use that and it's great. Yeah. You guys are probably here because you're gonna visit Volcano Bay, naturally. Here's the thing, just like the hotel, booking it two weeks in advance, I highly recommend you book your ticket for Volcano Bay at least three to four days in advance because they tend to sell out, especially during the peak season. Uh, we actually wanted to go to Volcano Bay on Saturday. We ended up going on Sunday only because they had Friday and Saturday already sold by Wednesday. And that's a good rule of thumb for just about any theme park here in Orlando. Call ahead, especially if you're coming during the peak season like Raul said, because you never know if they get a book to capacity, they will not sell, sell any more tickets. So it's always good to call ahead. So let's talk a little bit about the things that you can do here at Cabana Bay. And let me tell you, there's plenty to do. You will not get bored. So number one, obviously the pools. They have two pools, the atomic pool, which is where you have the cabanas and the water slide. And then you have hideaway pool, which is more of a lazy river pool. They have a regular pool as well, but I like the atomic pool better just because it wasn't as busy as hideaway. Hideaway was just really busy and the lazy river was great, but nothing compared to Volcano Bay, obviously. Mm -hmm. They have one of these in Volcano Bay, which is really cool. So tomorrow we're gonna check it out. But this is actually not bad, three feet safe for kids, but definitely get one of these life vests. This is what you want. Just float. Otherwise, you're going to be walking the whole time. And then the Atomic Grill was really good. Uh, we had two euros, two beef euros. Pretty good stuff. And that's just the stuff you can do outside. Now, coming inside of the resort, uh, there's so much to do. If you're into fitness, I highly recommend you go to the Jack LaLanne Fitness Center. We went there twice this trip. Beautiful gym and really well kept. Very spacious and they have a locker room where you can shower as well. Definitely I recommend that gym if you need to. And here's the best part about it. It's not just your regular hotel gym. They actually have free weights. They have cardio machines. They have all types of machines. It was definitely a good gym. And even before I started my workout, I went around the gym and was reading all the different like history plaques about Jack LaLanne and everything that he accomplished There was in his a life. surfboard too. Yeah, there was a really cool surfboard. Talked about how he broke records and it was great so it, it's a beautiful gym I recommend it there's also an arcade I didn't get to enjoy it but you did I went of course <laughs> you know me right. for a hotel arcade it's actually pretty good the fact that they had an arcade here was really good for kids yeah right next to the arcade center though was the bowling alley mm. that was fun we took advantage of that it's a really small bowling alley which I liked only 10 lanes but that means you have to book in advance. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe. It's one o'clock right now, and I'm gonna go to the bowling alley to reserve our, our time slot for tonight. Otherwise, we won't be able to bowl. So that's where I'm going right now. I highly recommend if you guys are planning on bowling, get to the line before one o'clock. Watch, I'm gonna get to like a 105, and I bet you there's gonna be a long line. All right, so 6.30, we finally made it. We had the reservations. And sure enough, here we are, Galaxy Bowl. Are you guys hiding from me? Is that what you're doing? I went to the room to get her socks and they're all hiding from me. Appreciate that. Bam! You Gentlemen. know about that. And the skull. Oh, oh that is dead. <laughs> that is dead. That's right, this guy. I know to charge my stuff. Here's the thing, I'm a master bowler. And I, and I feel bad bowling with you guys because I don't want to make you guys look bad. So because of that, I'm going to be mediocre tonight. Oh yeah, oh 
Good job, good job. Do me to spin it. Do me to show you how to spin it. Show me how to spin it. I'll show you how to spin it. Alright, let's see. That's a good I mean, we call that a gutter ball. And Noel was the winner of that game. I thought I had roll beat, but he edged me out right at the last second. Right, so we need a rematch. You know that spinner though. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another cool thing about this resort is that they have a shuttle that takes you to City Walk, to Universal Studios, and Islands of Adventure. Super convenient, just right outside the door. You don't have to worry about taking your car or Five walking. Minutes. We hopped on the shuttle and we went over to City Walk. Had some milkshakes. What was the name of the place called? Chocolate Emporium. So good. Line was long. <laughs> Very long. And for, it, you know, yeah. and for a milkshake, it was actually pretty pricey, but it's Universal City Walk. What do you expect? Yeah. However, one milkshake was enough for two of us. Yes. Oh, it was so delicious. And I'm so glad we only got one because it was a lot. And yeah. it, it was worth it. The, making the line was worth it for this dessert. Um, and there's so much that you can choose from. I mean, there's any kind of dessert that you can think of. Chocolate Emporium has it. Let's talk about parking. Overnight parking here at Cabana Bay is $18, but it's so worth it. Because if you go park at any of these theme parks, you're gonna pay easily $20, $30, $40, okay. whatever it is. So $18 overnight parking is definitely worth it. And the best part about Cabana Bay is Volcano Bay. It's only five minutes walking away. Oh yeah, that was really nice. That we just walked over to Volcano Bay. We, we showed our, our resort key and we were allowed in an hour early. This is what you need to get in, early access. Now on to day number two. This is where it gets fun, pool day. The cabanas that we chose, they had two sections. The ones right here in front of the pool, and then they have the beach side ones, which have a sand over there. We decided to go with the ones by the pool, just so we could have the view of the pool. We have to be here by 9 a.m. at the Atomic Bar and Grill in order to get your cabana. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it. And these are the cabanas I was talking about. These are the ones beach side. And the reason why it's beach side is well, because there's some sand right here. So the beach side of the cabana has the back of the pool. There is an access to the pool right here from the beach side, so you don't have to go all the way around, which is good. So if you want something a little more relaxing, not crazy with all the kids over there, I will highly recommend get the beach side cabana or even get the spots right here on the beach side because it's clearly not as busy as it is on the other side. It's not that big of a pool. There is a second pool, which we will go to later on. So if you do want to rent a cabana, it would have to be on this side of the pool, not the Lazy River pool because they don't have cabanas over there. Um, but right now I'm gonna get in the water because it's kind of hot. And I guess I'll show you the view from the water. How about that? Let's do that. <laughs> it's freezing. It's not. What? Don't lie to them. <laughs> okay, it's not freezing, but it is cold for me. Woo! Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. And we paid a hundred dollars and it's the entire day from 9 in the morning to 10 p.m which it's a deal it comes with a little table four chairs two lounge chairs right here a tv it comes with a safe it comes with a refrigerator with four bottle waters some canned sodas it even has a fan so i mean oh and an outlet so if you guys want to charge your phone and all these other things Water. there you go so for a hundred dollars a day well we paid a hundred dollars the lady said it might have been 125 and um we got it for a hundred dollars so this is definitely a deal. If you're gonna be here all day by the pool, I'd recommend just get a cabana. Day number three, we woke up early, kind of. Yes. We went here actually to <laughs> After Bay two snoozes. Yeah, <laughs> we came here to Bayline Diner and had breakfast. So yes. one thing about this diner that I haven't mentioned yet is that they actually serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. And they're open till about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And another thing too is that we have pizza delivery service till midnight, which we didn't do. We did not do, we need to do that next time we come from a, a little restaurant here in the resort called Delicioso mm. and it's one of the perks and yeah. we should have tried it. So yeah. Next one, next time. So if you, if you do come, you have to try it and then let us know what you think. Breakfast here at Cabana Bay was great. There's so many options. I mean, everything from croissant sandwiches to fruit cups to omelets to French toast, French toast waffles, everything you can think of. Which brings us to day three over at Volcano Bay. The reason we came here for and it did not disappoint. Don't sleep in. I'm glad we didn't sleep in yeah. because a it made it, well a little <laughs> bit, but it still made a huge difference getting to a park early, being yeah. the crowd. But you know what? With that being said, if you guys want to know more about Volcano Bay, you gotta watch our next video because this video right here is only about Cabana Bay. So I'll see you guys on the next video.